today's class we will learn about problems on Fourier series the problem is find the Fourier series of the function f of x is equal to mod x in the interval minus l2 plus l and hence show that 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus 1 upon 5 square plus so on equal to pi square upon 8 the solution of this problem we'll see now so problems on Fourier series obtain the Fourier series of f of x is equal to mod of x in minus l2 plus l so this is very important so minus l2 plus l they have shown here so already we have seen uh, the formulas based on uh, this uh, what happens to, I will uh, I will revise once again so remember here so minus L to plus L what is the formula so we need to check the first even and odd then I uh, uh, will uh, see that so how it is possible so solution so the given function is f of x is equal to mod of x in what here minus L to plus L range so this range they have given so now to see that we'll see first what here whether it is function is even or odd so minus l to plus l it is just like a minus pi to plus pi so for that what we have done replace x by minus x so what happens here f of minus x is equal to mod of minus x but mod of minus x is nothing but again it is uh, mod of plus x only because it is absolute value so we can say that this is nothing but f of x so that we can say that uh, if you change the uh, x by minus x again we are getting back to out here our uh, original given function f of x so which implies we can say that f the given function f of x is even function so if it is even function what will happen to Fourier coefficients so the Fourier coefficients will become out here if it is even so it will become out here b n is 0 so if b n is 0 the Fourier series of p rate 2L because here they have taken L2 minus L2 plus L means it is P rate out here 2L so therefore Bn is 0 then function f uh, the series is defined as f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation from n from 1 to infinity a n into cos of n pi upon L into x remember this so this is a Fourier series because it is even so b n is 0 so only we need to find a naught and a n equation number 1 where where a naught value is 2 upon l 0 to l f of x into dx a naught value and a n value is 2 upon L 0 to L f of x into cos of n pi upon L into x dx so a naught and a n these are the two results we need to find here so what to do here so we need to replace the value of uh, f of x here and we'll get a naught and uh, here also we need to replace value of f of x we will simplify this integral we will get a n so we will see uh, how the uh, simplification will happens here so just uh, I want to give one uh, small uh, simplification so this is minus l and this is plus l we have 0 here so this is mod mod of x what we have so if this part if you consider so this is what here minus x and if you consider uh, this part so this is what here plus x so together uh, I, I, it is considered as what here mod x 
so if it is minus l to 0 it is minus x if it is 0 to l it is what here plus x so now what we integrals we have 0 to l 0 to l so at that time the function f of x will be defined as what here plus x so f of x will be replaced by what here plus x not what here mod x because our interval is what here 0 to l so at that time we will use it this one so therefore a naught will be or or i can say that therefore our function f of x is equal to x in 0 to l so therefore our a naught will become 2 upon l 0 to l f of x is what here x into dx so on integration so integration of this what here 2 upon l so integration of x is x square upon 2 from 0 to l so which is nothing but 2 upon l so this 2 i will take outside so l square minus 0 square so 2 2 cancels so 1 upon l into l square which is nothing but l so therefore a naught is equal to l so value of a naught is l now will simplify for a n a n is equal to 2 upon l 0 to l f of x into cos of n pi l upon into into x dx so which is nothing but a n is equal to 2 upon l so integration 0 to l f of x value is what here positive x that is cos of n pi upon l x into dx so on simplification so what happens we'll see here so we'll uh, integrate by using Bernoulli's so by Bernoulli's rule by Bernoulli's rule a n is equal to 2 upon l bracket x plays a role of u and cos n pi upon l into x will plays what here v so therefore x into integration of cos is nothing but what here sine of n pi upon l into x divided by n pi upon l was differentiation of n pi upon l into x is n pi upon l formula minus so differentiation of x is 1 so 1 upon n pi l you need to carry so 1 upon n pi l can be written as what here l upon n pi because this l is in a denominator it will goes in the numerator so again integration of sine is what here minus cos of n pi upon l into x divided by n pi upon l so again the differentiation of uh, 1 is 0 so it's close 0 to l so on final simplification so we'll rearrange first then we'll apply upper and lower limit so a n is equal to 2 upon l so if so it will go up so I will write it as l upon n pi into x sine of n pi upon l x so minus minus plus so this n pi upon l so it will become again l upon n pi so it will it will which will become l square upon n square pi square into cos of n pi upon l into x limit from 0 to l so therefore will we need to apply the value of x the value of x will become out here uh, l as upper limit and value of x uh, will become uh, 0 by lower limit so therefore i will apply a n is equal to 2 upon l bracket if you apply l so what happens we'll see l upon n pi x will be replaced by l so l sine of n pi upon l sorry 
uh, L will be uh, and X will be replaced by what here? L plus L square upon N square pi square cos of N pi upon L into L. X will be replaced by L. So this is our upper limit. minus lower limit so lower limit because it is zero we can go directly also so what all things we'll see so if you replace x is equal to zero into entire thing is zero plus so here uh, l square upon n square pi square cos of x is zero so cos of zero is one so one i will mention here so we got this case so simplify so here again observe l l cancels so sine of n pi sine of n pi is zero so this entire thing will be zero so what left only this l l cancels cos of n pi so l square upon n square left here so this completely vanish so this uh, it will remain and this part will going to remain so therefore on simplification so therefore on simplification a n will be 2 upon l L square upon n square pi square cos n pi minus L square upon n square pi square. So which all things are common? We'll take it 2 upon L as it is. So common thing is L square upon n square pi square and we are going to left inside is what here cos n pi minus 1 or so th which all things is can cancel will cancel is so L and 1 L cancels. So a n will be 2 l divided by n square pi square into cos n pi is nothing but minus 1 raised to n minus 1. So this is the required value of what here a n. So from this we can write in the equation number 1 becomes that is our Fourier series. So f of x is equal to a naught value. So a naught value we got it l. So it is l upon 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity. A n value is out here 2 l divided by n square pi square into minus 1 raised to 1 minus 1 cos of n pi upon l into x. So this result we got it now. So this is a required Fourier series of the given function f of x. So now we need to work out for a deduction part. So deduction. So here cos is there. So what we'll do here put x is equal to 0 in the above expression so what happens here so if x is equal to 0 mod of 0 so 0 left hand side l upon 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity 2 l divided by n square pi square minus 1 raised to n minus 1 so cos of x is 0 0 into this entire angle will become cos of 0 cos of 0 is 1 leave it so therefore on simplification so on simplification so this l upon 2 will shift to the other side so what happens here summation n from 1 to infinity 2 l divided by n square pi square into minus 1 raised to n minus 1 is equal to l by 2 if you shift it it will become minus l upon 2 so here 2 l and uh, pi square is a constant 2L upon pi square is a constant. So, summation n from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 divided by this n square. Because uh, we are going to replace the value of uh, n now. So, you cross multiply this 2L upon pi square to the other side. So, summation n from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 divided by n square if you cross multiply it will become minus 
L L cancel. So therefore, if you cross multiply, two twos of four and pi square. So minus pi square upon four. So once we get this, so when n is equal to one, two, three, four, pi, so on. What happens? We'll see one by one. So if you put n is equal to one, minus one raised to one is minus 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 is what here minus two. I will write it otherwise. Minus one raised to uh, okay. So minus one raised to one minus one divided by one square. Next plus minus one raised to two minus one divided by two square plus. Minus one raised to three minus one upon three square plus minus one raised to four minus one divided by four square plus so on is equal to minus pi square upon four. Or you can see here this will become so minus one raised to one is minus 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 is what here minus two upon one square. So minus one is what here? Uh, minus one square is what here? Plus one plus one minus one zero. So if it is uh, odd number raised to odd coming, it you will get what here? Minus 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 what here? Uh, minus two upon three square. E, uh, even number is coming zero. Odd number is minus two upon next number is five square. Plus. So minus plus minus plus minus plus zero minus so on minus pi square by four. So therefore, finally, minus two upon one square, minus two upon three square, minus two upon five square, minus so on is equal to minus pi square upon four. You take minus two common. Minus two con. If you take one upon one square, plus one upon three square, plus one upon five square, plus so on, minus pi square upon four, or this minus minus cancel, cross multiply. So one upon one square, plus one upon three square, plus one upon five square. Plus so on is equal to if you cross multiply two to the right hand side, it will become pi square by eight. So which is a required deduction.